Bunny, and today I'm going to be doing another t-shirt cutting tutorial for you guys. I'm so glad y'all like my last two t-shirt cutting tutorials, so I decided to do another one. So this is the shirt that I'm going to start with today, and it's oh so classy. Um, it says witchy woman on it. Oh, it's kind of like Halloween-ish, I guess. I don't know. Even though at first I thought that the W's were V's, so I thought it said witchy woman. I was like, what is, what is that? I don't know. Okay, so all you're going to need for this tutorial is, of course, a t-shirt, um, some scissors, you really only need one pair, why did I just hold up two, I don't know, and um, a really precise ruler, um, my favorite brand of rulers for sewing and everything are Omnigrids. Um, so that's what I'm going to be using for this tutorial, but you could probably get away with any ruler. Okay, so step one, you want to make sure that you're only cutting through the back of the t-shirt, and you also want to make sure that the V is relatively straight in the middle of the back of the t-shirt. So a good way to line it up is to look at where the seat, the sleeve seam is, and line one of those up with the other one on the inside, just like that, so it's really nice and even. And then you're just going to want to take that and hold it all the way down and just give it a couple good shakes so you know that you're only cutting the back of the t-shirt and not the front. Also make sure that it's smooth throughout and that the underside of this isn't buckled or folded at all. So now once you have it all nice and smooth, you're going to want to make your first cut. And that's where the ruler and the scissors, of course, come into play. And now you're going to want to take this and make a angled shape, like a V, well, like half of a V. And now the good thing to remember about this is the further out that you bring it, the more you're going to be cutting into the shirt and the more revealing the style will be. So if you just want it to be a little bit open, you just would move it in, you know, like that. And if you want it pretty open back, then go ahead and move it, you know, further out. And I want to make mine pretty open because it's really, really hotter than hell here in Texas. Um, so I'm going to enjoy all the breeze that's going to travel through the back of this shirt. Okay, so now we're going to be cutting our strips. And, I mean, I kind of like my things to be cut pretty haphazardly, so I'm not one to sit here and be like, oh, a quarter of an inch, a quarter of an inch, a quarter of an inch, you know? Um, but you could certainly use, like, a dressmaker's pencil and draw individual lines at each of the markings. Um, I usually try and stick and make mine about um, pinky width, um, you know, so you don't want anything to thin because um, that's going to be too stringy looking um, so I wouldn't recommend anything smaller than a pinky. So what I like to do to make sure that I get my um, my cuts pretty even is to actually just take my pinky and just cut on either side. And I just make like little itty bitty cut marks to kind of denote where it's going to be, and then I go ahead and cut in with the strip. See, so there's my first little cut, and I'm sure that that is not 100% perfectly exactly even all the way down, but once we stretch it out and weave it, you're not really going to be able to intricately tell, oh, that's not exactly a pinky width, you know? Um, but as you can see, I'm just going to continue to make the little guide mark first with the pinky width, and then I'm going to cut all the way in. So now that I have all these little strips cut, um, you can fold your shirt back, you can fold it out. So see, that's what it looks like right now. Um, you can't really tell that anything cool is going to happen. Um, okay, so now step two is to individually strip 
stretch out one by one each of these strips um, and that's going to kind of make them curl a little bit so um, even though these aren't exactly even once you stretch them they'll kind of roll and you won't be able to really see that anymore so you just take it and now don't pull too hard because t-shirt fabric um, will tear pretty easy especially once you've cut the fibers apart um, so I just give it a good stretch like that so see it becomes like longer and like kind of rolled so you're just going to want to do that one by one um, with each of these strips that you just cut Okay, so there it is now with all of our little like rolled and cut strips. And so now this is the basics of t-shirt weaving. Um, and this is going to be pretty crazy, but I'm going to shove a towel in here right now for you guys. Like it's probably going to be pretty difficult for y'all to see how to do the weaving if I don't stick something in here because right now it's just black on black. So that's what this weird white thing is. Y'all don't, of course, have to do this. Okay, so there we go. So here's the basics of weaving. You're always going to want to take the bottom one and bring it up over the top one, just like this. See, one goes over two. And now you're gonna to wanna to take the third one and bring it up over the second one. And you're just gonna to wanna to go down the whole back of the t-shirt, just like that. So if it gets a little bit bunched up, you can always take your fingers and kind of push the weave closer to each of the sides of the t-shirt if you want, or you can just leave it um, in the middle, you know, if you want it, if you want the weave stitch more like that. Um, then once you get to the end here, you're going to want to cut this apart right in the middle. and take each string and knot it to the last thread that you've woven. And all you have to do is tie a basic knot. And now if you cut it as um, small and as short as I did at the bottom, it might be a little bit more tricky, um, but just work with it for a while and don't let it go. And if you just pull a really tight knot, it'll stay. And then just tie the two tails together one more time to make sure that your knot is secure. And that's it with one weave done. And now if you want, you can go back and weave it again. So I just cut the sleeves off my shirt to make it into a tank top and I actually forgot to press record when I did that, but I have a basic um, t-shirt to tank top cutting tutorial and I will put a link to that in here. And if y'all wanna see how I turned it into a tank top, you can just click on there. Um, okay, so the last step that I'm going to do is kind of turn it into a boat neck style because as you can see, like right now, it's this kind of like weird excess area where the, um, where I've cut up here to the collar. And now I don't want to cut it like too open just because like I don't want it to be like hanging down somewhere weird or, or too revealing or anything. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to barely cut the neckline off of here and I'm not really going to measure to do this process or anything. So actually for this I'm going to be cutting it um, way different than my initial basic t-shirt to tank top cutting tutorial um, because first of all I'm going to start cutting from the back and second of all I'm going to cut the back and then the front and not cut it all together like I did in my last video. Um, and so basically what you want to make sure of is that you don't cut into the weaving. See where the weaving starts right here? And so what you want to do is just cut in a curve up to the seam halfway in the shoulder. So see I've just kind of cut a curve right here only into the back of the t-shirt and still leaving the front intact. And you just kind of want to mirror the same exact thing on the other side. Just cut it into a curve up halfway. So see now the whole back looks open. 
Now what you're going to want to do is flip it on to the front and you're just basically going to want to cut going from an angle where you made this back cut and keep it as close to the neck collar of the t-shirt as possible. So I'm just going to do that now. And once again, if you didn't watch my basic t-shirt tank top cutting tutorial, um, here is a little tip that I like to um, share, is to make sure that you get the cut perfectly um, the same on one side as the other, is to cut halfway into the shirt and then flip it over and match using the collar as a guide. And then you can just cut along this piece of fabric right back up to the sleeve and then you know that the front is exactly even. So here's our finished t-shirt um, with the cut neck, cut sleeves, and of course the cut back. And this is just perfect for the summer. It's perfect for going to the beach in, or if y'all are going to hit up any amusement parks this summer, it's great for that. Um, of course, gets you a lot of airflow. Hope y'all can see it. I don't have eyes in the back of my head. Um. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. More are definitely to come. So please take a moment to subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what y'all think of this. And you can also follow me on Twitter. My name is Pretty Vacant. I'll put it down right here. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.